Well, I ended up taking the picture tube out. Uh, it was so big, bulky, and heavy, I was really getting nervous working on it, so I took the time and took it out, which turned out to be more of a challenge than I was expecting. When I first uh, loosened up this, this strap that, that surrounds it, it's rubber lined, and that's what was holding on the face of the picture tube. Um, I tried pulling it forward, it slid a few inches, and then it got stuck in this in the CRT uh, yoke, and uh, there's a focus magnet, I believe, electromagnet in the uh, yoke. So uh, I tried a few old tricks I'd heard about. I got out a heat gun and heated the whole assembly up, not red hot, just, just uh, oh, probably like 150 degrees or so, and then I smeared some uh, petroleum jelly around the neck and... Uh, Slowly pulled it out, and sure enough, I finally got it out without breaking anything. Uh, so yeah, now it's a lot lighter to work on. And you can get a better look at this picture tube. It's the same, uh, same knock and everything as the old round guys. Like this 12-inch one sitting down here, but uh, you can see that it is, well, more or less rectangular. No, it's not uh, sharp corners or anything, but this was certainly revolutionary for 1950, which is when the set is from. Uh, oh, something else I want to talk about. The electrolytic cans here, they're usually multi-suction. In, in, in this particular case, it's three sections. So get in there closer than that. Okay, I'm gonna focus. There we go. Okay, like the first section is 40 microfarad, 450 volt, then 50 microfarad, 150 volt, and 100 microfarad, 50 volts. And there's a little symbol next to each one. There's a half moon, a square, and a triangle. I wrote those down over here. Let's keep track of them. The reason that's important is when you flip this chassis over, next to each pin underneath, you see that same symbol. And that's how you know when you're wiring this up, what's what. Okay, so now here's that same capacitor. And they're not labeled really uh, dramatically, but if you look there on the outside, there's a little bit of a half moon there. And on this one, it's a little square. And this guy, there's a triangle in there, hiding a little bit, but there is one in there, <laughs> trust me. Well, plus when there's only three sections, you know that the odd man now it's going to be the, uh, the last terminal. There we go. So what I'm going to do to temporarily check this out is, uh, there's plenty of room to work around this guy, which is nice. So I'm going to unsolder these two wires, this wire and this wire. Just leave the cap there alone, and I'm going to tack in three new capacitors and just kind of leave them hanging under here. And then for the ground for each one will be common to the chassis here. And I'll be careful, I may use some electrical tape to secure them so they don't short to anything. But I'm going to keep the leads long so I can end up reusing them later on. Uh, again, I just want to see if this uh, set in this picture tube work. I'll tack those in place and show you what it looks like. Okay, I've tacked in three substitute capacitors. One, two, three. The negative lead going to ground, I left bare and soldered on to uh, these tabs going to the chassis. For the positive lead, I put a lengthy heat shrinking tubing, just exposing a little bit of metal on the end. Soldered in the uh, existing wires, then wrapped some electrical tape around it. Uh, remember, this is just a temporary uh, fixed to uh, power the setup safely. Next I've got one more down here which is just a think a two suction. That's the main filter cap for the whole set. That goes right off of the uh, 5U4 rectifier. And then I'll uh, get these big yellow and orange guys and uh, I'll power it up for uh, power it up and see if it works now. Alright, I think I've done enough recapping and I'm going to try powering this set up. It's not the prettiest work, but it's pretty well secure and insulated. I've, I've taped up all the positive leads and, and insulated them. Uh, one thing that was kind of funny is 
some of these old caps that are down here is they're giant but the values on them like it's a thousand microfarad but it's only five volts I couldn't find any because I'm used to working with smaller capacities and larger volts larger voltages so I actually had to go out in the, <laughs> into my back porch and uh, pull out an old motherboard and pull some of the caps off of it and uh, the one little guy hanging up here and another little guy over here um, otherwise, yeah, there's the main uh, two filter caps, and there's another one up here, and, oh, and one hanging down here, and it replaced one of the wax, or I should say, uh, the bumblebee caps, and these two up here. I noticed a few of these uh, bumblebee caps are uh, cracking a bit, so uh, I'm not going to be leaving this power even if it does work for any extended period of time because I'm a little concerned that these caps are going to start popping on me which would be pretty ugly uh, so I'm going to flip this down and pull out my rectangular test CRT and uh, see what happens okay here we go I've got the 8XP4 90 degree deflection angle uh, rectangular test tube I've uh, checked the fuse inside the high voltage cage and it is good and uh, somebody I think believe also retrofitted a fuse holder down here and there's a fuse in the bariac so let's dial this down to about 75 flip that on flip the side on I don't have the speaker hooked up but that should be okay it uh, normally goes to these two terminals right here All right, tubes are glowing Sign. So you can see the cage there. A lot of them are shielded on the set, so you don't see them too well. So I'm gonna turn this up a bit. Probably should get the speaker out so I can. Yeah, <laughs> here if it's working. That's weird. I don't see any film and glow in my test CRT. Huh, I never have, I guess I never have actually used this before, but it's brand new, so I just assumed it was good. Maybe it's not. So I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna pop that out and see if it's any good. Could also just be a loose socket connection. So stay tuned for more.